Okay, after the disappointment of last episode of getting knocked out of the World Cup by Brazil, um, we have made it to the third place playoff at least. So we do have one more game, a chance to claim uh, bronze in the tournament. Um, and we're up against Switzerland here, who I guess they've done okay to get this far. I mean, let's be honest, you don't get to the third place playoff if you haven't been playing well. Let's have a look here. So they beat the Czech Republic, they creamed Italy. And then they lost to Belgium very narrowly. So, um, yeah, this is the team I've decided to go with. Uh, as you can see, pretty much a strongest lineup. Although Mascherano and Messi are unhappy for some reason, probably because we got knocked out. Um, but there you go. People are on yellows, but there's no really there's there's no game to miss. This is the last game. This is the final game. This is the series over. So, yeah. Um, let's see then. Uh, how are we going to do this then? I think that'll be fine. Retain possession, play out of defence. Right, we're going to try and control the game. Um, but that's easier said than done. Especially if they are as good as they seem. Alright, here we go. Uh, third place playoff match. Right, we need a better performance. We'll say it in an assertive tone. I expect to see a much better performance today. People are motivated, just not the ones I want motivated, which is really annoying, seemed deep in thought. Right, oh here we go, final game, it's emotional, it's been a, a long ride, um, there's the anthems being sung, and this is the start of the, oh jeez, it's a downpour, not sure if short passing will necessarily work, but Messi certainly finds a cross field pass there, here's Diablo. Diabala, whatever his name is. I've probably been saying it wrong this whole time. Here's Messi, come on, ball in the middle. He missed it, uh, or messed it up rather. The so Sweden are currently, uh, Switzerland, sorry, are currently dominating possession, which is, wait, we should, I don't, I don't know what that said. I think he said more long balls or something. Ball in the middle, and they missed it. Thank goodness. Right, let's have a look at the analysis. More direct passing. Right, I think we will since it's raining and we do want to be getting forward. Right, here they come forward again. I think we might have to change our strategy. I don't think control's working. Don't know what he was doing there. Shakiri shoots. But it was miles wide. Alright, here we go. Rodriguez. Yeah, we're not we're not we're not up, yeah, we're not doing well here. Oh, here we go, Rodriguez. And he's put it over. Well, the play has certainly been interesting, but we just keep losing it. Yeah, we just cannot cope with their their midfield. I, I like their midfield just must be better than ours. Okay, that was a clever block. Ball all the way down. It's ended up in their possession, which is annoying. I guess he's he's going to pass out wide. Like, tell me, how have I got this far when I don't know what I'm doing? Okay, I must be the luckiest person ever. Don't know what that was. Was that a shot? That's possibly the worst shot I've ever seen. Uh, right. We'll see, most of their attacks are going through the middle, which makes a heap of sense. Maybe we should play narrower. Uh, let's play narrower. Try and afford them less space. Here we go. We've got a corner. Ball to Mascherano. He's plays Dybala. Mascherano. Okay, there's, why shoot when there's like an entire team in front of you? Rojo. He often dilly dallies on the ball, which is annoying. Harris in possession. That sounds like a very Scottish name. Oh, Bond to Stalker, Shakiri, and it's wide. Yeah, Harris is a very Scottish name. They've had more of the. Oh, we finally got a shot on target about 38 minutes into the game. Yeah, we don't deserve to win this at all. Messi is chasing down a play. Yeah. I might as well just give them the bronze now. I know, I didn't underestimate them. But I thought it'd be a bit easier than Brazil. Like, we, we had more chances against Brazil. I'm guessing they must be playing on the counter or something. Maybe we should just sit back and let them come. I mean, that's kind of what I'm trying to do, but it's not really working as well as I was hoping. Stalker to Harris. Shakiri. Oh, yeah, he's taking a shot. So they're not playing any killer balls or anything like that, like through balls or anything. Yeah, it's just... They're playing mainly down the right-hand side as well. All right, dressing room. Uh, that was very disappointing, guys. I'm far from pre pleased. Everybody's looking fired up now. Uh, but we need to change. We can't just continue like that. So, should we do? Should we go for that then, or should we go for our defensive approach? Right, we'll change to this. We'll go counter-attacking. 
Let's not bother doing any of that. Clear ball to flanks. Exploit, ex exploit the flanks, I should say. And first, I'm going to have to hook this guy again, Dybala, because he does. He just he plays one position, which is not ideal. Uh, we'll bring on this guy, right? Yep. That's advanced playmaker. Um, on attack duty, that should work. And now what we're going to do is. Oh, yeah, we want to play the counter-attack. We've got way too many instructions. Let's just start the second half and see what happens. So that's our change, I think. Long ball downfield. Oh, he's actually got onto it. Thankfully, we were there to sweep up the pieces. Gomez. Ball downfield. We should have people streaming forward to support Higuain here. I can't see them. Maybe that's because of their duties, I don't know. Oh, wonderful. Brilliant shot. I'm so glad I got that guy in my team. Don't even know how many goals Messi scored. Here we go, another chance. Oh, never mind. They've they've got the they've got the ball now. Harris is coming forward. It's probably like Harry or something. I'm, I'm guessing that challenge was legal. I mean, it, it looked like he got the ball, so I'll, I'll trust the ref on it. Right, come on, take it down. Take him on. Take him on. Take him on. Pass back. Come on, pass it forward, please. Look, he's open. He's open. Messi's going to run into a brick wall, just watch. Or pass backwards. How many goals have we scored at this World Cup? Gomez, he's played into Messi. Messi's onside. Play it across, play it across, across goal. It's, yep, yep, we got the goal. We have got the goal. Marcus Acuna. Okay, we've taken the lead. I'm just going to, I guess, continue playing the uh, tactics that we are going with. On the basis that they seem to be kind of working now. We have been kind of, yeah, we've been outplayed pretty much for this entire the, the entirety of this game. Do we need to make a change? They've made a change. Alright, here we go. We're coming into the final 20 minutes. We're still 1-0 ahead. Uh, does anyone need brought off? There's a few people that could do with being taken off to be honest with you. Yeah, they made another sub. Let's uh, do that ourselves. Gomez off for Zabaleta I reckon. Oh, we could bring on this guy. This guy hasn't played at all. So we'll bring him on. Oh, here we go. Rodriguez. And he's missed the target, thank goodness. Seems to be so few Argentine supporters, it's insane. They're actually dominating possession. Right, final change. And hopefully this doesn't go to extra time. Uh, we're going to take off Acuna because... Um, why not? <laughs> Might as well. Inside forward. Yeah, that's probably his best, the best we can hope for. He's pl placed it down. Rojo should get there, he didn't. And now, oh no, that's not good. Yep, Otamendi cleans up behind and gets it away. They're coming back though. Shaka, I think that's how you pronounce it, Stalker. He's going to play it wide to Rodriguez, ball in the middle. Ha Harris is there, it's out to Fernandez, and he's bluttered it into the stands. Ten minutes to go. All right, here we go, Rodriguez with another free kick. We seem to be giving away a lot of free kicks. I wonder if that's because of the um, the hard tackling. Uh, let's just tone that down, I reckon. So we just need to hold out for another two minutes. Harris plays it in. No, don't give away. Play. Don't give away a penalty either. Just bluted it down to the line. Don't pass it across your own goal. He's passed out to Pastore, who still has possession somehow. Come on, there's a ball forward for Higuain. Higuain has given it straight back to the Swiss. Shaka. Otamendi heads it away. Get, get it, get it. Messi's won it. Messi's through a goal. Come on, he's going to blow the shoot now. Yeah. I feel like, oh, five minutes of added time. What the actual heck? Well, we got we got to hold out now for five minutes. He threw it straight. He, did, he didn't even try to throw it to one of the players. It's like he's been signed up by them to throw the game. All right, Messi's played in Higuain. Higuain, and it's put it wide. Good attempt, though. Biglia with a free kick. Deflected. Messi's going to get there, I would assume. Don't give it back to him. Kind of wish the other guy got there. It's a long ball forward. Rojo. Cannons it out wide. Oh, he's kept it in. What? Why do people keep it in? Just flip and let it go out. Don't give them an opportunity. It's so annoying. Like, is that in team instructions? Can I change something that stops them from doing that? I mean, our defence seems to be doing pretty well, but still... Oh, and of course they're going to show the entirety of injury time. It's cleared away again. And we're, we don't have any more subs. We need to hold out, please. Shaka. No, it's into Harris. And... 
he was offside. He actually went in the net. I thought it went into the side netting. Yeah, they're going to show all the flipping extra injury time. I'm so good. I hate it when they do this. This game is just the ultimate tool of torture, to be honest with you. Fernandez coming down the right. Ball in the middle. Okay, that was a an awful shot. We've only got a minute to hold out now. Ball down. Messi wasn't going to win that header. Just pass it, pass it, pass it. To an Argentine striker, preferably. All right. Easily picked up by their keeper. 45 seconds to go. We're 1-0 ahead against the Swiss. I don't quite know what he was doing there. See, I would I would be frustrated if, um, if that was me. I'm frustrated now because Messi squandered a chance. But there you go. Ball down. Barami to in Inler. Xhaka plays it down to Rodriguez. This is the final chance. He's crossed in. Oh, there was just too many people in there. Oh, come on. There's only 10 seconds. There's no way I can make any final changes in the last 10 seconds. We need to uh, We need to hopefully get people to cut out the ball. Yep, there we go. And that should be it. Plays it for Teguayin. And that's it. Full time. Argentina emerge as winners from a poor match. Uh, I'll just say well done. I mean, come on. Well done, lads. Good win. Well, there we go. We've uh, redeemed our defeat against Brazil in the last uh, four to grab third place. Argentina fortunate to beat Switzerland. Just a tad. Uh, we're just a tad fortunate. Uh, Argentina win World Cup third place playoff. At least we end on a high, though. We we end the series on a win, which normal in normal circumstances we would have ended on a on a loss, but. We didn't win the actual thing, but we still won our last game. Argentina was build a World Cup performance. It's a great victory. Argentina optimistic for future. Alright, well, that's pretty convenient because we've won the World Cup once, we've come second once, we've come third once, and we're not even going to talk about the other time. But yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with this. Pretty chuffed with this uh, outcome. It's a lot better than I expected, especially given the fact that I don't really know an awful lot about um, this version of the game. Injury updates, I queued off the mark. Here we go, World Cup final. I think Brazil are going to win. And I was wrong. Belgium won. So there you go. And that is it. Hopefully the World Cup final, the real-life World Cup final, is uh, not at all like that. And yeah, that brings to an end the 2018 World Cup and indeed our series, the Argentinian FASS World Cup performance. Uh, the Football Association are pleased that the team reached the semi-final of the World Cup. They are confident that you'll meet their expectations for the forthcoming competitions. Uh, Argentina have won the World Cup on two occasions, so that's pretty cool. Wait, Argentina players retire? Don't think any of those guys are Lopez. Yeah, I don't think any of those guys were regulars. Let's have a look at the final awards. Oh yeah, I could probably work out when this is going to be released, can't I? Probably the 23rd of July. Should we? Let's let's go forward all the way to the 23rd of July. Oh look, we got achievements. Golden boot. Oh, did somebody get the golden boot? Seriously? Aguero got the golden boot. Oh, that's sick. And he got the dream team. And we got two steam achievements. That is awesome. Oh, I'm happy about that. Let's have a look at the other awards. I'd like to see who got the best player in that. How do we get to them? Awards. 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 There we go. Right. Best player, Thibaut Courtois, Alexandro, Kevin De Bruyne, yeah. So none of our players made it there. Best young player was one of the Americans. There's the squad again. Only one of our players, which was Aguero, got in. Goal of the tournament, none of ours feature. And none against us feature, thankfully. Golden Boot was won by, Co um, was won by Aguero. I think he got more assists, so that's what counts towards him. That's really cool. And that's the final award, it looks like. So, yeah, this should be released all, ar around the 23rd of July. So we're going to try and uh, fast forward all the way there. In fact, I might as well just holiday to the 23rd of July because that's like the real life uh, date this goes up on. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the series has gone, apart from the obvious blip with Brazil. Uh, that could have gone so much better. Uh, but, you know, to get a first, second and third place at the World Cup in three of them. That is uh, definitely more than I would have expected. Um, there were some great, great moments along the way, certainly some memorable moments, and it gave me a chance to do a bit of managing that I've not really done before. Argentina remained in first position, probably thanks to our finish in the World Cup. I mean, Brazil are closer behind us, but we're still first. I kept, I kept us in first position uh, long enough 
I've got friendly proposals which have already been accepted. And yeah, it is now the uh, it's now the twenty third of July, real life time, nine in the morning. This will probably go out. Well, I don't know what time that is. It's probably Argentinian time, so that's probably like midday or something for us. But who cares anyway? Same day. Um, I don't know why that's significant, but. It's kind of been like a, t a travel in time. We've been travelling in time, going from all the way from 2005 all the way up to uh, 2018. So yeah, it's been it's been fun. I want to thank people who have uh, kept up with the series, who've watched it. It was certainly enjoyable to um, to do, and I may or may not do some more of these Football Manager series in future. It just really depends on my uh, mentality, how I want to do it. Um, for example, this was very easy to do because it was unique, uh, it was short-term saves, I didn't have to think about everything, whereas if you are doing a long-term save, there's more you've got to think about. Um, so, And obviously I picked the best teams, and I kind of failed with one of them, but with three of them I kind of succeeded. So I don't usually pick the best teams in Football Manager, but you never know. In future, I might do another series, who knows, and I probably won't do it in 2018 though. Well, I might, but 2018 is a very, very challenging version to get to know um, or to get used to. Certainly for me anyway, I've played a lot of the older versions where it's a lot more simplistic than that. Uh, but there you go. I'm going to have a look at the World Cup real quick actually. Uh, international competitions, World Cup. I want to see how many goals we scored. Uh, let's see. Group stage. What were we? We were Group G, right? No, we're Group F. So we scored seven goals. We got further than Spain, which I'm pretty chuffed with. Uh, but we scored seven... Goals there, and then let's go through to the second round. Scores, how many did we score again? Seven? Yeah, we scored seven, and then we scored seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Twelve goals ain't too bad. Uh, we conceded a fair amount, but our defence isn't the best. Uh, but anyway, no point in havering. Uh, also, we only we got sacked for one for one job, but that was to be expected, especially after that woeful performance. Um, but yeah, thank you all very very much for watching. I will uh, see you another time.